Panama Canal is one of the most essential waterways in the world. But have you thought why? Before we know more, do subscribe to Marine Insight and hit that bell icon. The Panama Canal is an artificial waterway connecting the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans across the Isthmus of Panama. The important maritime infrastructure has led to free flow of international trade in the Western Hemisphere. Panama is home to the largest ship registry in the world, whereas the Panama Canal is of huge significance to the shipping industry and global trade. Before its construction, ships traveling between the east and west coasts of the American continent had to go around Cape Horn in South America, a voyage some 8,000 nautical miles long, which took two months. This is quite a saving in today's terms, especially considering the global warming situation we have landed ourselves in, and to prevent more carbon emissions. An average of 14,000 transits are made every year through the Panama Canal. Ships carrying all kinds of cargo safely navigate the canal's waters. Containers are at the top of the Panama Canal list of users, closely followed by tankers and bulkers. Gas tankers have found a shorter route to their destination with the new locks. Cargo ships pay an average of $188,000 per transit, though some crossing fees rise as high as $1 million. The Panama Canal has three locks that raise vessels to a higher altitude and then lower them to the sea level, once on the other side. The Panama Canal works as a water bridge in which ships are elevated at about 85 feet above sea level by a lock system. Ships transiting from the Atlantic to the Pacific enter the approach channel in Limon Bay, which extends about 11 kilometers to the Gatun locks. The ships then pass through a 2 kilometer long channel to the Miraflores locks, which consists of two consecutive steps where they are lowered back to the sea level on the Pacific Ocean side. The ships then pass through a final 7-mile or 11.2 kilometers long passage, then enter the Pacific Ocean. A mountain range runs the length of the Panama, including through the canal zone, though it is lower there. Additionally, the tidal levels of the ocean on either side of the Panama Canal differ. Locks raise ships to the level of the lakes and lower them to the sea level. Locks work on the basic principle of gravity and flotation. The height difference between Gatun Lake and the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans cause water to flood and empty the locks through culverts. Huge valves control the flow of water. A control center manages the entire system at respective lock gates. When lock gates flood, the ship floating inside the lock gates rises with the rising water level and then enters the consecutive lock gate for further rise. The same technique is used to lower the ship by emptying the lock gates. When did you cross the Panama Canal? Let us know in the comments. And for more such information, follow Marine Insight.